ever sat next to a woman and wondered how you could create a magnetic pull without even touching her? Gentlemen, sometimes less is more when it comes to catching a woman's attention. Today, we're delving into the subtle art of doing this while just sitting next to a woman. It's all about the sizzle, not the steak, the nonverbal cues that can say a lot. Welcome to Top Lista. On this channel, we love sharing relationship information, tips, and tricks to help you take your game to the next level. Subscribe if you're new here and give this video a big thumbs up for that good old YouTube algorithm. Now, without any further ado, let's begin. 1. Find a reason to sit close in order to Seek for opportunities to sit close to her so that accidental touches are feasible since if you are too far away, no physical connection can occur. If you're in a restaurant with her and sat across from her, don't just point something out from across the table. Instead, get up close and say, hey, check this out, it's crazy. Whether it's an intriguing meme or an engaging story, use it as an excuse to get closer to her. Do not overthink it or give the impression that you are attempting to increase sexual tension. Subtlety is crucial. If you're already seated near together, leaning in to share something on your phone might do the same thing. The touch should feel natural rather than forced. Think of it as a spontaneous reaction, possibly when the two of you are having a light moment. The proximity is key in this situation. Here's a trick. As soon as you're close to her, quickly move or shift such that your arms or legs naturally touch hers. You can use the distance between you and the phone or the commotion in the area as justification. Focus on getting her to focus on the information you're delivering rather than the fact that you're close by if she notices the contact. Keep in mind that the goal is a sincere connection, not manipulation. Always treat her with respect. The second one keeps her engaged. Once you've crossed the gap and are seated close to one another, it's important to keep the discussion lively since the moment it becomes monotonous, she might decide that it's time to return to her seat. The talk must also be interesting and pleasurable because, as they say, laughing is one of the finest connectors. By confiding in her, you're demonstrating your trust in her and that you value her. This builds an emotional bridge between the two of you and strengthens your connection. However, always pay attention to her body language. If she withdraws or appears uncomfortable, it could mean that she isn't entirely at ease. Nonetheless, respect her boundaries. The important thing is to always make sure she feels safe and appreciated, so if she moves away after you share anything, use that as a cue to give her space. Third, initiate a flirtatious conversation with her. It's time to add a dash of flirting after developing a sincere connection through meaningful discourse. Some guys are hesitant to appreciate women, but believe me, an honest and well-placed compliment may go a long way. Here, however, discretion is key. Could praise her perfume by saying you smell wonderful or make a remark about the fabric of her blouse, the fabric feels really premium, something as simple as the fact that your eyes have a compelling appeal might do wonders if you feel courageous. It's important to evaluate her reaction, so you don't always have to go deep and discuss her great energy, especially if it feels forced. If she accepts the compliment and appears receptive, you're on the right route. However, if she feels uncomfortable, back off and continue the conversation in a relaxed manner while adding subtle flirting comments. Occasionally, drop indications to indicate that your goal is more than just friendship and that you are interested in play. Fourth person touches her fingertips. Some guys naturally possess this finesse, skillfully incorporating it into their conversations. The gentle touch of fingers can speak volumes, speaking of intense, interests, and intrigue. While some people might need a nudge in the right direction, if done properly, touching her fingers can be a sensual gesture. For example, if you hand her your phone, make sure your fingers graze hers, creating a brief but noticeable contactor. When talking about a piece of jewelry she's wearing, like a ring, gently take her hand, admire the piece, and genuinely compliment her on your elegant fingers. 
Despite its diminutive size, this gesture expresses attention without transgressing any bounds. A different clever strategy is to joke about reading her palm, hold her hand, and draw lines on it to foretell the future while making light comments. If she is laughing and enjoying your company, you are on the right track. If she is hesitant, always respect her boundaries. Always remember that it's all about connecting genuinely and enjoying the moment with her. Whether you joke about her impending fortune or make a quip about a mysterious future husband, keep it playful. In her ears, she can hear number five. You're in a loud club, crowded bar, or even a packed theater once as thick with chatter, music, or the thrum of a movie score, but despite this din, you lean in to share a secret with her, your voice hushed meant for her ears. A word of caution, context is everything. If there is mutual interest and attraction, a whispered remark, coupled with a slight touch to the neck, can elevate the intensity. However, if the feelings aren't mutual, it can come off as invasive or creepy. It's all about reading the room and her reactions. Only a whisper can be electrifying when used properly. It can be as simple as a shared joke, a comment about the current surroundings, or a sincere compliment. If her body language indicates she's receptive, you can take things further by saying, I wish it were just the two of us right now, which can arouse excitement and suggest a deeper connection and interest. However, keep in mind that there is a fine line between being confident and being overconfident. Before you enter such intimate territory, make sure you have established enough rapport and piqued her interest. Always be respectful and aware of her comfort levels. Sixth number reach across her mind. The possibility to generate a charged moment when you need to grab anything from the other side while the two of you are seated next to each other. Reaching across her requires some delicacy because it's a subtle way to draw her attention to your presence. If there is mutual interest, this proximity can send her mind down a delightful rabbit hole where she imagines all kinds of playful scenarios. However, be cautious about physical boundaries because a light touch could make the moment more intense. Intentionally focusing on sensitive areas would be outside of her comfort zone. Before going there, it's crucial to make sure she feels at ease with the proximity. When establishing contact, play it cool and don't make a big issue out of it. The goal is to appear unintentional while yet being respectful. Pretending you weren't even aware keep the conversation going and pay attention to her cues and comfort levels at all times. The secret is to convey confidence while making sure she always feels appreciated and at ease. 7. Interpreted her messages. Whether she is feeling the vibe, her movements will match yours. Pay close attention to see whether she is returning your moves by leaning in closer. Consider it, when she whispers back or perhaps starts some of these intriguing maneuvers, she is definitely feeling the connection. It's a universal game of show and tell where you touch her arm and she touches yours back to indicate your interest. However, if she pulls away or establishes clear boundaries, respect them because it either means she's not interested or you jump the gun and she isn't ready yet. It's important to be patient and know when to back off or reevaluate your approach. 8. Seize the opportunity. The appropriate time if you completed all the stages and sense a real connection, breathing now might be the ideal time to exacerbate the situation because the tension and energy are both palpable. Understanding the atmosphere of the room is essential. If she looks to be deeply engaged, it could be time to suggest a more private setting. Even if life favors the brave, it's important to proceed with caution because she might not be ready. If she declines, respect her decision and be grateful for the enjoyable evening you both had. Respect that women appreciate men who can take a hint and who don't push but also show interest. Fear of rejection can be intimidating, but remember everyone experiences it. Taking that leap of faith can lead to unforgettable memories or valuable lessons. And sometimes she might be waiting for you to make that move. Okay, that concludes today's master class. If you've absorbed the information, thanks for tuning in.